Today is Muslim Day at the Capitol, a day when people of Islamic faith talk with lawmakers about the issues that impact their community. But this year it was different. News 9's Aaron Brobeck is covering the Capitol. Well, there are two big changes. First of all, Muslim Day is being held on a Monday instead of a Friday. Usually lawmakers take Fridays off, so this gives Muslims a chance to meet with lawmakers. Second, this is the fourth annual Muslim Day, and the number of protesters has dwindled. This is how Muslims were greeted their first Muslim Day with dozens of protesters. Today, well, today was much more peaceful. There was a heavy police presence. In this case, more cops than protesters. These guys say the Council on American Islamic Relations is a front for terrorism. We're looking back several years ago, this is the fourth Muslim day at the Capitol. At the first one, we had a lot more protesters, dozens out there. Last year, there were only a couple. Muslim Day is a day the faithful can learn about advocacy and how state government works while meeting with lawmakers about issues that impact their community. Muslim leaders say there's no legislation this year that they believe specifically targets their faith, but like many minorities, they say they're concerned about teacher pay, educational funding, and bills that would allow teachers to carry guns in classrooms and allow anyone with a felony to carry without a permit. On the scene on the story at the state capitol, Aaron Brilbeck, News 9.